Hello guys. This is MKS Beats. I hope you are doing well. Before I start I want you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for As creating this and demo. uploading videos takes time and effort. Subscribe our channel to get notified on our every new video. On music production. Also if you want to download the latest version of FL Studio 20 then you can download so by our link, given in the description box. So let's start. Today I will teach you how to perform sidechain compression using Fruity Limiter. This method which we are going to see today is more powerful and accurate. It allows us to have greater control over the dynamics of the mix. I have written a simple percussive drum beat for this tutorial. Let's hear it first. Now let us add some bass and synth to the track. Thank you for trying this demo. As you can hear the mix sound flat and drums lacks punch. What we want is to make the drum cut through the mix. We can apply the technique called sidechain compression for this, so that whenever the kick and snare hits, the volume of synth and bass goes down. It allows the drums to sound more profound in the mix. Let us see how you can achieve this. In order to perform sidechain compression you first have to create a compression signal for it. I have created a simple snare signal to root to bass and synth channel, to attain the compression. Now let me root this channel to channel 12 in the mix. Now what you gonna have to do is select your compression signal channel and root it to the bass and synth channels by right clicking on arrow. And then select side chain to this track. Now open Fruity Limiter on Bass Channel. And right click on Side Chain option, and select your Insert Channel. After that what you have to do is to adjust threshold, knee, and ratio to attain the desired compression in the mix for that particular instrument. Let me show you an example. Thank you for trying this demo. Do the same with the synth channel. Now as you can hear the drums sound more profound and punchier in the mix. Also it allows the drums to cut through the mix. Let's hear it again. I 
hope you like the tutorial. Please subscribe to support our channel. Till then watch our many great tutorials on music production. I will see you all guys next time. Thank you.